Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. How have you been? Funny story, which is actually not quite funny. It was really quite tragic for me. I was walking down the stairs with my laptop, you know, as you do, and my hard drive just decided to slide right off the laptop down the stairs and died. So, I mean, I just love that for me. I actually lost a video with my mum. I lost the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright collection review. I did three looks in that video and I spent two days on it and it's gone just like that <laughs> but anyways that is why I haven't had any content up in a little while I need to refilm and get everything you know back on schedule so today we're jumping straight in with a full face testing new makeup I have new foundation new concealer new eyeshadow new powder nearly everything I also went into boots recently and I picked up the Fenty Beauty lip gloss collection I just couldn't not have it like when I saw it in store I was gonna put it on my Christmas list and let like my mom or someone buy it for me but I just saw it in store and I was like what if it sells out and I had to buy it it. and this is the one that comes with the five little mini glosses and it's just so beautiful I mean for 34 pounds I think it was you get so many different shades and I absolutely love this formula but anyways enough rambling let's just go ahead and jump straight into this video I hope you missed me because I missed you guys So as usual, we're gonna start with foundation. I have the Rimmel London Last In Matte Full Coverage Mattifying Foundation. I bought this from Boots like a couple months ago and I just haven't tried it. I have the shade 504 Deep Mocha. Uh, the size of it is pretty small, but it does have 30 milliliters in here, which is like the standard. So small packaging, but same amount of product. I'm not quite sure how much product to put. So we're gonna start with like that much. It is quite thick. So let's see, it's meant to be a full coverage. Oh yeah, that feels really thick. I'm gonna spread some of that onto the other side of my face really like the color on me that looks like a good match so i'm just gonna blend this in with a sponge and we'll see what happens that has blended out beautifully but i definitely feel like i need more coverage so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more oh <laughs> just spread that it kind of feels like silicone-y like you know those silicone blurring primers that's what it kind of feels like when you're spreading it with your fingers so it definitely builds up i'm definitely getting more coverage this time once again guys i still feel like it's a medium coverage like i can still see my scarring on my cheeks here so i personally wouldn't say that it's full coverage but that obviously obviously that obviously depends on like how much scarring or pigmentation you have to cover let me get up close and personal oh that looks really nice on the face like it's not cakey it doesn't look dry or patchy it looks really nice actually i like this the finish of it but like i said to me personally that is not full coverage i would still go in with a concealer and spot conceal these areas i mean for a foundation that's seven pounds i really can't complain so we're gonna move on to eyeshadow i actually have a new eyeshadow primer and i don't know if this is risky to test it with a new palette but i have used the palette before so i mean if the eye look doesn't work out i would know it's the uh, eye primer i suppose anyways this is the technic eye canvas eyeshadow base which kind of looks like the p louise dupe so it comes in a squeezy tube just like the p louise one and this is the shade medium i do also have this shade light but medium's pretty light as it is so i'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze that onto one eye really thick just like the p louise one and i'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my brush so that blended out really easy really nice and it has like an even coverage which i like so for eyeshadow of course i'm gonna go in with the revolution x patricia bright palettes i'm gonna take the colorful one just because i don't gravitate towards the neutral one i don't i feel like i don't know how to create a neutral eye look nowadays guys i tried it the other day and i just didn't like it but like give me a pink purple cut crease i'm like damn give me a green smoky eye i'm like yes but neutral brown i'm like mm. <laughs> but anyways this is the rich in life palette so these have 28 shades on the inside it also has a big mirror on the back which bends all the way back and yeah this is what the palettes look like so with this palette i've already done like a pinky purpley look i also did a blue rainbow look on the revolution youtube channel so today i'm gonna do a look with the green shadow I have already done a green look but once again it was on the hard drive that died so that look is gone kaput so first I'm going to start with this deep dark green here which is called trendsetter I might even go into a dab of the dark navy blue which is called nobu this one here just a small amount of that right on top of the green as well just to intensify the darkness right there that blue completely takes over the look it's so pigmented anyways next I'm going into the neon green which is this one here and this I'm patting right above that into the crease 
so this look is not going to be anything you haven't seen before but i'm just doing it so you guys can see how the colors work and how they blend and how they apply taking that deep green again just building that up into the crease carrying that deep into the crease as well i think i'm gonna go for a cut crease look today okay so that is the crease applied and you guys can see they're really pigmented they blend really well i might even dip into a little bit of vitamin c which is the yellow shade and just run that right up by the brow bone to kind of lighten that neon green even more now what i'm gonna do is try use the technic eye primer to cut the crease because i love using my p louise for that so i want to see if this can stand the test with with that as well now with this palette there's not that many shimmers in here so you are kind of limited in the shimmer selection but i do prefer palettes that have more mattes than shimmers anyway so i do really like that there's more mattes in this palette i'm going to take my finger and drag over the two where they connect to blend it so what i'm gonna start by doing is going into this green and a little bit of rich rich so mixing these two and just running that right here on the outer edge into the primer now some of the shimmer shades in here are kind of like a cream uh formulation they still feel kind of squidgy in the pan almost like a color pop super shock shadow that's exactly what they feel like so they have that kind of creamy texture so i'm gonna go into this shade here which is called no exit and i don't know if you guys can see as i push my brush into it it kind of molds and changes and this shade i'm gonna put straight onto the center of my lid i'm almost kind of scooping it out rather than just dabbing it in if you know what i mean now for the inner portion of my eye, I'm going to go into this yellow shimmer over here, which is called Honey Pop. Taking a little bit of that green once again, blending it into the shimmer on the outer edge. Okay, so the last thing I want to do, and it's completely optional, you don't have to do this, but I love this pressed glitter up here called Wow. I'm just going to take that through the crease on like a thin eyeliner brush. So yeah guys that is the eye look i do really like this colorful palette i do like the neutral one as well like the formula is the same if you do prefer neutrals so i'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then i'll come back so we can complete the rest of the face okay guys now i'm back so i've gone ahead and done the other eye i also put some eyelashes on these are the girls with attitude what are they called bel air lashes now moving on to concealer i have the rimmel london lasting matte concealer which is basically the concealer to match the foundation it's called a soft matte concealer they say it's full coverage once again so so we will see it has a small little doe foot taking me back to the old concealer days because i feel like most concealers nowadays have like a huge doe foot and this is the shade 40 tan so i'm just going to go ahead and put that underneath my eyes it seems to be a good shade to highlight with might be a tiny bit too light it does feel really kind of watery but i'm assuming it dries oh i forgot to wet my sponge i always do this okay so i've gone ahead and wet the sponge i'm just going to blend this out really quickly because it does mix it's meant to dry down matte not sure about the color because the foundation was such a good match i don't know if this concealer is going to be too light because usually i use a light concealer to balance out a dark foundation but when the foundation is a good match you don't really need a lighter concealer but anyways i'm just going to go ahead and blend this out underneath the eyes and let's see what happens Oh, it feels really thin, like a thin concealer. It's not thick like the Too Faced Born This Way or, you know, the e.l.f. concealer. It's quite a thin concealer, but it has coverage. Okay, so based on first impressions, I like that concealer, but it's not my top favorite. I still prefer my e.l.f. concealer. I prefer everything, not prefer everything. I compare everything to my e.l.f. concealer because it's like my ultimate favorite and it's only five pounds. And this definitely is not as full coverage as that, but it's still a good concealer concealer if you know what i mean like it's not cakey it is a matte concealer so if you don't like matte concealers underneath your eyes then definitely don't go for this one but yeah i definitely would use that concealer again it's not cakey it's sitting really flawlessly on the face and it's lightweight as well even though it is a matte concealer i don't feel it drying or tight or anything like that it looks really good moving on to setting powder i'm gonna go in with the new i Heart revolution i think these have been out for a while actually these are their food baking powders so there's chocolate banana which is kind of like a deep yellow 
and then there's banana which is like a yellow powder these are scented so they do kind of smell i haven't smelt them yet but i read the um ingredients and they have perfume fragrance so this is the shade of banana and then this is the shade of deep banana so it is just like a deeper yellow i think i might go with this one i'm not really a fan of deep yellow powders underneath my eyes i prefer to go with a lighter yellow or a honey type of shade yeah that is quite a yellowy shade i'm gonna press that in with my sponge oh that does look really flawless underneath my eyes i love the way that looks can you guys see from side to side it's just like so smooth i'm gonna take a little bit more on this side of the face okay so this does have a fragrance of course it smells like chocolate like the fake type of chocolate do you know what i mean the fake artificial smell of chocolate but surprisingly it's not overpowering like it's not as strong as the huda beauty fragrance but so far i really like the formula of this in terms of how it looks on the skin okay so i don't have a new all over powder so i'm just gonna take the one that i usually use okay so next we're gonna go in with the patricia fright fright wow i was gonna say bright and face and it just came out together fright okay we're gonna go with the patricia bright face palette and uh the shade that i use is you are gold which is kind of like the deep one uh which looks like this so in these palettes you get a blush a bronzer and then a highlighter and these retail for eight pounds i really like the size of it like you can easily just throw it in your bag if you're like going out for the day because is it just me or my blush and bronzer just doesn't last and it always fades but this is like the perfect size to throw it in your handbag and if you need to top up your bronzer top up your blush or highlight whatever you want one. and then the darker one is called dust till dawn and this is the darkest one in the collection which looks like that so you have a bronzer contour plummy brush and then a golden highlighter and then there are two other ones which are light and medium i believe they have different names but for light skin and medium skin but i've already put those in a giveaway so i'm just showing you guys these two so like i said i use the you are gold palette and i'm gonna go into this bronzer which is a nice really warm undertone bronzer and i really like warm undertones so it's almost slightly red as well i do prefer orangey undertones but it does have a slight red undertone but it works really well for my skin tone so can't complain at all and in terms of face palettes i absolutely love that this is kind of like a palette that doesn't have unnecessary shades so rather than having four skin tones in one palette they've gone ahead and separated the different skin tones into different palettes which i love i really don't like the big contour palettes that have shades for everyone rather than separating it out into skin tones you know what i mean I prefer this idea of having separate palettes for everyone rather than one big palette for everyone. So yeah, if you can't tell, I really like the face palettes. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my brush and take it down the sides of my nose. By the way, that is a spot on my nose that I decided to pop right before filming this video, so yay me. So what I'm also gonna do is take the same brush and just dip into the blush. Now this is kind of like a pinky rosy blush and me personally, I do prefer a orangey blush because it kind of makes my skin tone glow. But I can and also appreciate a pinky blush with certain looks if you know what i mean and this is a great blush it does show up on my skin tone which i love and then last but not least of course we're going into the highlighter in this palette and i'm just popping that onto the top of my cheekbone right here now before i move on to lips i actually want to set my face i have these two setting sprays from sleek they are kind of new they have a mattifying fix and then they have a illuminate illuminating fix but because my foundation and concealer are matte already i'm going to go in with the illuminating fix which is kind of like those sprays that have like a golden sheen to it similar to like the iconic vibe if you know what i mean okay let's try this really powerful spritz okay so i really like that it doesn't leave the skin really glittery but it does have a really nice skin like glow it says it fixes makeup for up to 12 hours um i'm not quite sure about that but okay so last but not least we have the fenty beauty lip bomb gloss bomb set so i'm gonna take revolution glory lip liner just a small amount of it to kind of define the lips now this shade is called hot chocolate and it's that gorgeous brownie shade they all have like micro glitters in it and i just love the gloss bomb formula oh it smells divine and it's like a sheer wash of color so it's not super pigmented but that is a really nice nude for me oh i can kind of feel the glitters in it as i rub my lips together but it's not too gritty where it bothers me but it looks so 
glossy and gorgeous i love these gloss bombs oh my god it has these pinky orangey glitters in it and it just looks gorgeous reflecting it does look gorgeous by itself but i can only imagine on top of a nude lipstick it would look even better so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start with revolution glory liner as usual then i'm gonna take my shishado lipstick in the shade nude streak and then I'm going to go back into the Fenty Gloss in Hot Chocolate, which is the brownie one, and put that on top. So yeah, that is how I would prefer to wear it on top of a nude lip combo. So yeah, guys, that is it from me. Here we have the final look. What do you think? I love everything apart from that glitter that I put in the crease has kind of gone everywhere. It's kind of like up here in my eyebrows, it's down here on my face. For a glitter cut crease, I would prefer to use a liquid glitter because once they dry down, they don't move. But when you use like a pressed glitter like this, they kind of tend to go everywhere. Apart from that, guys, I absolutely love everything I tested today. The Patricia Bright eyeshadow palette, the face palettes all oh, the baking powder is really really nice the foundation the concealer from Rimmel the last in matte so far really really nice I love how it sits on the face I feel like it looks really really flawless and not like super heavy and cakey I really like these someone's at my door let me wrap this up so if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and I'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye